In today's video, I'm going to be talking about watermarking. Should you? Shouldn't you? I'm going to talk about why Eric and I do, but it may not be for the reason you think. Stick around. So if you follow us on social media, on Instagram or on Facebook, you know that our images are always watermarked. Uh, we always have a little logo in the bottom corner. If you've been following us for a long time, you know we used to have a little script Disney Image Makers on it. And I'm sure when you're looking online, you'll see some people watermark their images, some don't. So is it something that you should do? For some people, watermarking is a way for them to protect their images, or they think they're protecting their images. Um, they'll put a little logo in the corner in the hope that if somebody steals their images and tries to use it commercially in some way that, you know, with the watermark there, um, they won't be able to do that. Or sometimes you'll come across something where it'll have a logo just, you know, put across the image completely, which, you know, looks ridiculous. So if you're out there trying to get your photography noticed and you have your giant watermark slapped across the front, nobody wants to see that. I'm going to jump into the computer here really quick and I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove a watermark from one of our own images. So this is an image that I have, you know, I put a watermark on like we do with all of our images. But look how quickly I can just remove this watermark um, using the healing brush tool in Lightroom. And there's other ways to do it on mobile platforms, there's, you know, in Snapseed, there's a heal tool in Photoshop, you can certainly do it. So it's not that hard to remove a watermark. So why do we watermark our images? Well, part of the reason is we want to be noticed. And by having this logo on all of our images, on all of our social media channels, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, that it creates a uniform world for Disney image makers, for our little world there. If, if we decided years ago never to put these images online because we were afraid somebody was going to steal them, uh, a lot of opportunities that have happened to us may not have. You know, we wouldn't have met some of the awesome people that we've met inside the Disney community, inside the photography community. We would have never been contacted by our partner Holly to make the Capturing the Magic books. Uh, we both worked at Walt Disney World Magazine for a couple of years. We would not have had that opportunity. Don't be afraid to put your stuff out there. Get it out there. Um, watermark it if you want to. Don't watermark it if you don't want to. I don't think it matters one way or the other. But if you want to be noticed and you want to have a certain look for your images and you want to have people be able to find you and say, Oh, I recognize that. I, I see the little logo that I'm used to. Um, you'll see it across brands. You know, branding is... Unfortunately, it's a way to get noticed in this social media world that we all live in. So I would say use your watermark for that, not to protect your images so much, because as you saw in the video where I removed it, it doesn't take much to remove it. Um, and if that's really what you're worried about, then maybe you shouldn't be putting your images online to begin with. Um, but uh, a world of opportunity can open up to you if you are willing to take a chance, put your stuff out there, not worry about it being used in a pirated way or somebody's going to take it. I mean, it could happen. It may, it might have already happened with us. We don't know. But I think the, the relationships we've made, trips we've gone on, the projects we've been involved with far outweigh uh, the potential loss of an image because somebody, you know, may have used it on their social media or on a blog or something like that. That's not to say you shouldn't always credit the photographer because you should. And there have been times when we've gone after people when we found out about it. So it's not like I'm condoning that, but it does happen. But I think the good far outweighs the bad. So those are just some of my thoughts on watermarking. Um, in another video, I'm going to actually show you how to create a watermark. Um, you know, how we upload ours and put it on the images. And, um, you know, this way you can have an idea of, of how to maybe create your own and then in Lightroom how to apply it to your images. Okay, so if you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this and click the little notification bell if you want to get notified. And we'll see you in the next one. Wow. Wow.